Hey guys, welcome back to Anointed with Power Ministries. I am Prophetess Kristen Laurie, and it is an honor to be before you all. It is an honor to serve the Lord. So to those of you who support the ministry, for those of you who are a part of what we're doing behind the scenes, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God is truly good. It's an honor to serve the body of Christ. So I just wanted to get on just to give a testimony. Um, I just wanted to address a few things. For those of you who have been following me and following the ministry for a few months now, um, since God had me launch this channel, you know, you, you've seen the numbers go up. And with the numbers going up, obviously, there's going to be, you know, attacks from the enemy. Um, you know, the adversary is going to come and you're going to get the, the nasty comments and, you know, people just wanting to tear down what God is trying to build up. But, you know, let's not pay that any attention. I definitely am not. And if you're going to leave nasty comments on my video, you will be removed and or blocked. So that's just what it is we're here to serve the Lord. We're more than just prophetic videos. We do mentoring, we do training, teaching, um, you know, we do challenges, we engage with subscribers and other people who come across our platforms behind the scenes because lives are at stake and this is no joke. So we do more than just what you see right here. Um, I'm very protective and loving of the people that God brings my way and of my platform and the platform God has given me. And I am not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But we're here at the end of the day to serve the Lord. So with this video, I wanted to give a testimony of the things that God has been recently doing in my life. So I've been praying for a financial breakthrough in different areas of my life. Um... And I made some investments earlier this year, and I really felt like Holy Spirit wanted me to make these investments, investing in some projects, some creative ideas I had, um, you know, just to get some feedback and just to, you know, just to put it out there because you never know until you try. And so, um, you know, also just a financial breakthrough. And yesterday when I was at work, my boss she totally caught me off guard as I was walking um, on my break down the hall, and she was like, "You got a raise." And I was like, I got a, I got a raise. And she was like, yeah, you got a raise. Um, and looking at the numbers, looking at the logistics and, and what I need um, to be uh, financially stable, it was perfect. God is always on time. Jesus, I don't know who needs to hear this, but God is always on time. The number could be big, it could be small, but whatever that number is, God is so specific. He is so specific to our needs, to our to our wants, and to the things that he knows will sustain us. And I had a leaping in my spirit because I was like, wow, God, I literally had just prayed three hours prior about just little things and a financial breakthrough. And Three hours later, my, my boss is like, you got a raise. So that was one testimony. Another testimony is in one of the areas where I made an investment and I put it out there. God was like, put it out there. You don't think you're good at this, but you're good at this. Put it out there. And not even a week later, I have people interested. I have I've gotten some good feedback. And so God is doing a lot of things for me behind the scenes and for this ministry behind the scenes. The fruit, the fruit speaks for itself. So I wanted to get on to encourage you guys that God wants to come through. He wants to come through on his promises and he will come through on his promises no matter no matter how many times you drop the ball, right? Because we are living in a time of grace, grace and peace and God's love, you know, and and, um, you know, just just keep pushing forward. And if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. And that was the whole purpose of this testimony. This video was for me to tell you that if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. But it's going to require action. Okay, many Christians, many of us, we just feel like God is going to just miraculously drop something in our laps. And this is where you may disagree with me. And that's okay. That's fine. Because I don't care. I'm not going to tickle your ears. But the way God has moved in my life, everything that he has given me I have had to give him something I have had to work I have had to take a chance whether it was my first video my first prophetic video or whether it was me actually sitting down and writing down ideas for my first book there was always a, a first step what is your first step Jesus I don't know who needs to hear this but what is your first step what is God asking you to do first before you can get to that next level be it your ordained spouse be it that book you're trying to write be it your career uh career move or your 
business idea or ministry idea? What is the first step? Because sometimes all God needs you to do is just take a chance and jump and he will catch you. Jesus, I don't know who needs to hear this, but God is saying jump and he will catch you. Okay, so I love you guys. And, um, you know, I just wanted to give that quick testimony. Um, and I love you guys. We have a scripture challenge going on. Please drop your email. And if you're interested in what's going on behind the scenes in this ministry, because we are moving, we are working. Um, you know, we love working hard for God and for the body of Christ. You can always email my team. And we are here. And we love you guys. Have a happy, hap, have a happy Friday. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, uh, I love you guys. And God bless.